This is the barber shop, Cornerstone neighborhood. What's up, guys? Matt the Woodshed Barber. Just gonna show you guys a real quick tool tip. So, yeah. Um, I was sitting there editing my next video, and I noticed that there's something I haven't talked about. Maybe only maybe once before. Maybe. It's a lot of maybes. Don't push the maybe, baby. Anyway. For clipper overcome, a nice little hack with this. For one thing, have a comb that you really, really love, not one that you're just putting up with. For instance, combs that I would put up with, that I've used, but I didn't love. The basic wall comb, not a fan. I know some people swear by it. Swear to me! Not a fan of the wall comb. Also, really huge combs. For a clipper over comb, I don't need a gigantic comb. This big old beast, the Babyliss Pro clipper over comb, flat top comb, whatever they call it. I don't even like using this for flat tops. I've got it just in case I need some extra visibility because my favorite comb, sadly, is black. I love white combs. So if they ever make this black one in white, dude, I'm sold. But this, I would use it sometimes, but I put up with it. It's not my favorite comb. But my favorite comb for clipper over comb, and luckily they've not discontinued this yet. My other favorite comb, same company, they did away with it. And believe it or not, it's Oster. No way! The Oster Styling Comb is my favorite comb for Clipper Over Comb. Now they make a flat top comb, the Styling Comb, and they did have a comb called the Finishing Comb. And it was my favorite comb for just standard cutting. But they don't make it anymore. It's awful, I know, I'm really sad. But the styling comb, it's just got a nice handle to it, nice space, but he, here's, here's the thing. I'm going to get in touch with my inner woodworker here for a second, and I'm going to get out my calipers, and I'm going to measure this comb. So we know that a one is around three millimeters. That's kind of the consensus of a one. This comb, 3.2. That's how thick it is, 3.2. So that's about what a 1a is so by me doing clip over comb and this is where this technique is coming in when you grab the comb to do clip over comb you have to consider the space that that comb is taking up between the clipper and the scalp it's acting like a guard so a lot of people do not struggle with this concept but whenever you're doing clip over comb let's say you've set in your base length with a one and a half well, instead of t doing your clip over comb with a one and a half and still struggling to get those lines out, instead, why don't you grab a one or an OA and then do clip over comb because the space of that, that comb is going to make up for the space that you've taken off of your blade or your guard. Oftentimes, now it's it's hard to do it with guards. I do not like doing clip over comb with guards. Um, very rarely will I ever do that with maybe a one or a half guard, but usually never. If I'm not going to be doing it with a adjustable clipper with just whatever blades on there with whatever length I want, if I'm not doing that, then I go to my detachables. So another case, for instance, let's say you are doing a one or Let's just say a no guard open on the sides and back. Well, whenever it comes to using clip over comb with that, are you going to leave that no guard all the way open to do clip over comb? Or are you just going to grab the same guard or the same clipper, close it, and do closed no guard clip over comb? That's going to allow this right here to blend that better for you. So consider this is like adding a guard every time you use clip over comb. Just a, a very simple tip, but the more your mind gets programmed to doing that, the more you're going to want to use that for your blending. So that, that's it. So another example, let me just do one last example. Let's say I'm using my detachables with a three and a half. Well, to blend that in, I may go down and grab a two or a one and a half and float in with this. Uh, my mind's always thinking that way. If I'm using my Fat Master blade, which is, I use that thing all the time now. It's 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 basically the anchor of my cutting style right now. 
if I'm using that Fat Master blade and I've got it all the way open, so I'm cutting it around a two, and I'm gonna go blend that in, I'm at least taking that halfway down, if not all the way down, closed again, to use Clip Over Comb. Just a way of thinking about this. Always think about your comb as an extension of your length. Anyway, guys, that's the quick tip. I appreciate you watching, and I'll check you on the next one. <laughs> he said extend. <laughs> <laughs>